Hi, this is Gloria Capola from Massage Pro CE, live at the American Massage Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. And today I have Bill Corsini, who's the group publisher uh, for Massage Magazine and Chiropractic Economics. So I'd like to welcome you today at this live interview. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure. So, Bill, um, let's tell our audience, what do you actually do for Massage Magazine? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, my background is uh, all in in business to business magazine publishing that's all I've ever done and I've just come into these markets four months ago uh, Joe Doyle of the Doyle Group um, hired me to run the magazines chiropractic economics and massage magazine so I've been out um, meeting our customers going to the trade shows and trying to absorb as much information as I can about this particular industry and the principles of publishing are, are more or less the same but it's just the nuances of each market that you have to learn so uh, that's what I've been doing and uh, I have to say that the massage market is unique uh, above all others. How are we unique? <laughs> it's very touchy-feely, which works for me because I'm Italian. And uh, I, I get seems like I'm around every corner I get a hug. And uh, it's just very friendly, warm, and, uh, and yet you conduct business and have a good time. There's a lot of good energy here. So I'm very impressed by all that and uh, I feel pretty good, good about being a part of it now. Well, I've been following Massage Magazine for my, gosh, almost 25 years in this business. I don't know how long they've been, but it's been uh, one of my publications. Yeah, it's almost the whole time. 1985. Yeah. Started. Yeah. yeah we're the only paid publication monthly. Um, got a website that gets tons of traffic. It's updated daily with news and information. Uh, we have uh, e opt-in emails of 85,000 names, so wow. we've got a big following, and we try to reach out to them in all the ways that they want to get their information, whether it's online or through email or through the print publication. So the print publication is really just the beginning of that mm -hmm. whole process. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it represents our brand really well, and then from there we take it into all those other arenas. Now, is Massage Magazine offering anything specific, like uh, maybe webinars or blogs or anything that... We we do all of the above, yeah. and uh, here at this event, uh, we also um, are showing, uh, if you come by our booth, you'll see some signage and so on, pointing to our insurance uh, program that we have, Massage Mag Insurance, uh, and people can sign up for that. A massage therapist can, can buy that insurance for $159 a year, wow. and it includes a subscription to the magazine now during this uh, promotional period that we're I running. didn't know you so. had insurance. That's something yeah, new I learned so you, today. You there you go. And it's actually taken off quite quite well in less than a year, and we're closing in on uh, 10,000 policyholders. So, wow. Uh, not quite at that level yet, but that's a, a soon-to-be-reached target. And, uh, so and what else does Massage Magazine fast. have planned for the industry? Anything? Uh, let's see. That's a great question. I, I should be <laughs> you asking gotta, you that. You what, find out. what can we do to uh, take the next step in, in media? Um, it, just in general, I would say, uh, you know, we look at ourselves as a complete media company in all the ways that I mentioned before. And uh, you, you talked about webinars and blogs, and those are types of things that we like to get into. One thing I'm very impressed by here is, and, and we'll be looking into doing something with it, is um, the clamor for uh, CE credits. I notice there's lines outside of every meeting here, and everybody wants to get in and uh, get credit. And, and for good reason. And I think there's probably something we more we can do with that. Uh, since we do reach out to such a large contingent of the practicing uh, massage therapists out there, uh, and we're an educational tool for them, and we bring information to them, I think you can look forward to something in the, along the lines of um, continuing education credits through our publication or our, our, our sources. Now, is Massage Magazine getting involved at all with all the other organizations that are trying to collaborate into making this profession even more solid and more cohesive? Um, I, I would have to say yes. I think that uh, just as an example, I mean, as I got around and spoke to some of the attendees and at the gala dinner last night, we hear so many great compliments about the magazine and how it's used uh, in there, uh, you know, to, to make them better business people in a sense, and uh, not just business people, but tech, teaching them about techniques and, and news and trends, but also a little bit of that business, because after all, they have to be able to know how to get customers and keep them and so on. So 
We, we think we make a contribution just in the fact that we infuse the market with that type of knowledge and help find, give them ways to share that knowledge amongst each other as well through online and so on. Something that we're doing uh, recently, and this is probably more to the heart of your question, we started a Facebook uh, giveaway. Ah, I saw have, that, yeah. We have vendors uh, once a month. We have a vendor who provides a prize of some sort, usually valued at $500 to $1,000. And um, what we do is when a visitor to our Facebook page uh, follows us, follows us on Facebook and registers for the, for the giveaway, uh, we then have a drawing and, and we announce a winner and they win whatever the prize is. It's typically prizes that are provided by the vendors that you see here at this event. Great, great. So uh, that's pretty interesting because, it, again, it's about the community, uh, the massage therapy community, and that's a way to build that. Uh, through Facebook and uh, it, you know through the gracious uh, 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 efforts of our of our vendor community providing these prizes, it's really worked out great. One of the things I noticed on Facebook too is that you know you also periodically post different articles that have been in your magazine, and so that's yeah. nice too to give everybody a chance to read some of those articles that maybe don't have your magazine yet, right. but then decide, wow, this is really informative, and I want to subscribe. Absolutely, the, the digital edition is there for anyone to see. It's uh, easy to for though we had an international uh, massage therapy uh, massage therapy this uh, winner last night at the yeah. gala, and so s those people internationally can look at our publication online. Yeah. Uh, it's affordable. The digital edition, so yeah. it, uh, it's a yeah. way to reach out globally now, so it's, uh, it's interesting. And on the Facebook uh, promotion that I mentioned, we're now up to uh, about 11,000 Facebook followers. Wow, so that's great. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling to be part of something like that, and as I said, I just came to it a few months ago. So I feel like I'm the beneficiary of all this activity that's been going on around me with a great staff of people and, uh, and a great audience uh, to deal with as well. We're fun people. Yeah, you are <laughs> that. touchy feeling. Yeah, look at that. I get another hug. <laughs> well, thank you. Like thank you so much for joining us today. What is the website in case anybody wants to subscribe it's to the magazine? It's massagemag.com. Massage uh, go there and you'll find everything you need for your uh, informational purposes and insurance now. So... A lot to be seen there, and of course, uh, the magazine itself is always a big hit uh, as the only paid publication out there as well. So, well, thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. And thank you for joining us at the American Massage Conference.